Below in the deep there's adventure and danger, that's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Sam the Sawfish, as everyone knows, has a handy saw at the end of his nose. Once it caused him a lot of woe. To find out about it, let's journey below. Haven't seen any of my finny friends today. Wonder where they can be. Well, no mistaking that sound. Hello, Sam. Hi, Dan. Say, what do you got there? Now, this is a spear gun, just in case I run into the octopus again. I see you're still trying to get into those sardines. Yeah, but I keep running into metal after I saw through the wood. Where did you find it? Over near the old ship. I can take you there. Good. Let's go. Doesn't look like anything of value here. There's practically nothing left. Well, will you look at this? So that's what's become of it. It's a shame more of the ship wasn't preserved. Watch your step now, Dan. It's tricky around here. Yes, I can see the planks are old and rotten. Whoops! Are you all right? I think so. No tears in the suit. Oh, thank goodness. The tank is still operating. Where's the spear gun? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Just out of my reach. Oh, well, it's safe right there. Better concentrate on getting myself loose. I may be able to chop my way out with my knife. Shucks, that's my job. Let me help you. Great Scott, what's that? It's a sea snake. Look out, Sam. Get away, Sam. I'll handle this. I'm not afraid of this oversized Wayne. Let me at him. I'm stuck. I can't pull myself loose. Uh, I can't help you. I've got my hands full. This thing is powerful. I lost my knife now. You must get free. Can't do it, Dan. <laughs> sea biscuit. It's sea biscuit. Quick, sea biscuit. Get help. Biscuit. I'm so glad you've come. I was getting lonely. What's that? A sea snake is fighting Diver Dan, and Sam is trapped? What can we do? Well, there's no one here. Everyone went for a swim. Well, what's that? It might work. Yes. I recall sea snakes can be charmed by the song of a mermaid. I only hope he can hear it from here. Well, I've got to try anyway. Why, he's relaxing his grip. It's Minerva's song that did it. A mermaid's voice can charm a sea snake. Yes, I can hear it now. Maybe I can shake him loose. Careful, Dan. The spell only lasts a short time. Anything can bring that snake out of it. Move slowly. I can't find my knife now. But maybe if I try hard enough, I can reach the spear gun. You'll never hit him with it. No, but I've got another idea. Keep singing, Minerva. Don't stop now. I've got it. Hey, 
Hey, what are you pointing it this way for? It's our only chance, Sam. There's only one shot, and here goes. Wait. I'm free. You did it, Dad. Uh-oh. The snake's acting up again. Let me at that thing. He's had it, Sam. Sam, you drove him off. Now, let's see if we can get you out of there. Yes, hurry. My air supply is almost gone. You and Diver Dan were able to defeat the sea snake after all. That's right, Miss Minerva. But that snake would have had us if your song hadn't charmed him. You can thank Sea Biscuit for remembering. <laughs> yes, we can all be grateful that a mermaid song can charm a sea snake. Uh, Miss Minerva. Yes, Sam? I think your song charmed Diver Dan, too. Oh, Sam, the things you say. <gasps> the song of Minerva has saved Diver Dan. Now to meet her is once more his plan. The mermaid is shy, but she knows Dan is kind. Perhaps this one fact may change her mind. He moves among creatures of frightening features. Flashing, he's flashing, jaws flapping, been snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the waves. That's where you'll find Diver Dan.